We're here from the north side of Chicago today, at the corner of Foster and Clark Street, and we've got Matthew with me. Matthew is a student uh, at Fairhaven, and your parents were missionaries in Russia for 12 years. 12 years. So you spent that time with them. You're in Russia. You learned yes, Russian, sir. and so it's a blessing to have him here. This is an interesting area because behind us now uh, is a bakery. Uh, but years ago. This was the place that was the home of C.B. Hedstrom's Shoes. And C.B. Hedstrom was a very notable Christian businessman. And uh, he got burdened uh, to use his uh, business uh, as a way to serve the Lord. And uh, one day uh, he got the vision of uh, getting the Christian businessmen up there on Clark Street to pray together. And he started the Christian Businessmen's Association and the Noonday Prayer Meeting that went with that. They were praying one day, and into his uh, shoe store came a young uh, believer from Belarus named Peter Dynica. Peter Dynica had left Russia during uh, one of the famines, came over here, gotten saved, later would go to Moody Bible Institute and would take classes. But C.B. Hedstrom got together with Peter Dynica, and back in the back of the shoe store they prayed that the board would open up a way for them to get the gospel into Russia from that meeting started the Slavic Gospel Association and you can see the advertisements for that in the old sword of words from the 50s 60s and 70s so the Peter Dynick wrote a book called much prayer much power and interesting to go back today and it's a bakery today but one time it was the home of a shoe store that uh, was used in a way that uh, um, the gospel. Peter Dynica himself died in 1987, prayed throughout his whole life that the, that the uh, Iron Curtain would fall and freedom for missionaries to go into uh, the, the Soviet Union would happen. He died two years before that happened. However, think of Matthew uh, and his family that uh, maybe we could say were a result or some of the fruit of the prayer of Peter Dynica praying for the gospel and praying for freedom to get in and, and getting the gospel in there. C.B. Hedstrom wrote a book called Payday Someday, and it is a uh, it tells the story of his life growing up, how he had to take stands for the Lord, and how he decided he was going to use his business to serve the Lord and uh, to put God's kingdom first above all else. And so a bakery now was a shoe store, but it was more than a shoe store. It was a place where prayer went forth, giving went forth, they dreamed big things, and uh, uh, Headstrom, together with Peter Dynica, got the gospel uh, in through Bible, through, through smuggling scriptures, and through underground churches for all those years. God was at work even in Russia. Glad to have Matthew here with me uh, to uh, give you this little update uh, about a very significant place uh, in missions history as well as in church history, the site of the former C.B. Hedstrom Shoes, 5202 North Clark Street, Chicago.